يا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم uh, هاي راح تكون I think uh, اخر محاضرة for uh, the immunology modules uh, about hypersensitivity and if you recall حكينا عن hypersensitivity شوية لما كنا نحكي عن the poor types so uh, there is really uh, the concept is there uh, we just want to expand uh, a little bit about it so what is hypersensitivity hypersensitivity basically so you have an immune response that results in an exaggerated or an inappropriate reaction that is harmful to the host. So how do we tarif? So it is harmful to the host. So what about when you get uh, inflammation, right? Is inflammation hypersensitivity? Because inflammation is harmful to the host, doesn't isn't it? So uh, neutrophils come, they destroy tissues, and they cause damage. Well, um, it's if if you really think about it, it's really a spectrum. Uh, regular inflammation is not deemed as hypersensitivity because inflammation, in its nature, will have will carry some oxygen reactive oxygen species. And uh, sorry, so yeah, it, it is a spectrum. Um, so any inflammation will cause inevitably some damage to the tissues. But uh, in the spectrum of hypersensitivity, uh, inflammation is not hypersensitivity. Uh, hypersensitivity is always harmful to the host and if you think about it uh, it can be uh, to the to um, uh, again it can be uh, sometimes slightly helpful type 4 and sometimes that is uh, can be even deemed normal uh, in the spectrum between hypersensitivity definition and the spe and the uh, spectrum of the definition of inflammation uh, normal inflammation can sometimes intersect okay so uh, allergy allergy is the same as uh, hypersensitivity but allergy usually we talk about type 1 or immediate or anaphylactic hypersensitivity the one that is if you recall that is IgE mediated and it causes a uh, histamine release so that's for the uh, definition so the clinical manifestations are typical in all patients and occur only with contact with a specific antigen to which the individual is hypersensitive to. So if you recall when we talked about haptans and how uh, some people will just develop uh, haptans that satisfy the requirements of specificity and then being uh, bound to a, a, a carrier protein and then being presented. That can get, leads a person to become hypersensitive to penicillin or something. So each and every time they come in contact with this specific antigen, they will uh, manifest with the same uh, symptoms. But symptoms is not different between people. So each and every person who has an anaphylactic reaction will have the same thing. Methanol hypotension. They might have rash. They might have, uh, you know, uh, general cardiovascular collapse or methanol in, in, in anaphylactic shock. They all have the same. Think hypersensitivity all will have will manifest in the, in a similar manner. <clears throat> so the first contact of the individual with the antigen, as we mentioned, you get sensitized, induces, produces the antibody. Then the subsequent contacts, they will have allergic response. Hello, uh, one question: Will you uh, do you only get uh, allergic to things as you are uh, young, and when you get older, you don't become allergic? Uh, you can be allergic to anything at any time. So ممكن أنت طول عمرك you're you're not allergic to ibuprofen عمرك صار خرب أربعين خمسين ستين and and all of a sudden you get allergy allergy to uh, this substance that can happen but بنشوف إنه عادة the most uh, you you meet the the majority of things early in your life well and your thymus is at its highest activity so that is عادة you get the most uh, introduction to these antigens and you develop uh, allergies subsequently, uh, usually in early life, but it's not limited only to early life. We know what are the types of hypersensitivity, all of which are antibody mediated except type 4. Uh, types 1, 2, and 3 are antibody mediated, as we mentioned, and type 4 is cell mediated. Type 1. IgE type 2 and 3 are mediated by IgG. So now let's go through this main table that really explains 
all the lecture that we're going to go through. So we mentioned the immediate hi uh, hypersensitivity IgE mediated. So this is your basic antigen allergen, which induces IgE antibody, which that bind to the mast cells and basal cells, which, which when you are exposed to this allergen again, we mentioned this uh, reaction, the cross-linking of the bound IgE on the, those cells, which degranulates them and releases histamine. And the more antigen you get in, into contact with, the more IgE will bind, and the more mast cells will degranulate, and the more symptoms you get. So this is immediate. This is within uh, minutes, even seconds sometimes. So this is very, very quick. So this is immediate, and this is anaphylactic. This is the one that might be live threatening immediately life threatening hal hadula mumkin kunu life threatening you will see yes they can be life threatening but not in immediate way hal we mentioned types 2 and 3 are igg mediated however they they occur differently type 2 is a, is your basic anti antibody antigen complex so an antigen on the surface combines with the antibody and this leads to com complement mediated lysis of the cell so this is your regular antigen antibody destruction cytotoxic activity type 3 is you have a large amount of antigen antibody immune complexes concentration they go and they, be, they become deposited in the tissues now the tissues try to clear them complement is activated pncs are attracted to the side and try and then try to uh, to, to clear these uh, protein complexes that are now um, uh, and they are deposited in these tissues and as they are doing this they cause damage but the problem is that the person who makes these immune complexes will, will they have a, a problem we will talk about these problems that they continuously make the, this a large amount of protein which is an, um, uh, which is always combining with the antibody with the antigen and it is continuously being deposited and then it continuously being cleared and then continuously causing damage to these tissues so this is an immune complex mediated disease this is a direct antibody antigen disease so so مثلا هو بيحكي transfusion reaction if you are مثلا a person who مثلا عنده uh, A antigen and then you give him uh, who has if he has the A antigen he, have, he will have the B antibody رحت عطيتهم the B blood he will have a transfusion reaction and then will have مثلا hemolytic anemia that's type 2 hypersensitivity type 3 مثلا زي ايش what are immune complexes mediated diseases مثلا you have uh, these autoimmune diseases where you have uh, a, a lot of uh, antigen antibodies being deposited in tissues so نحكي اعطيكم امثله كمان now type 4 is your uh, basic delayed hypersensitivity reaction this is where T lymphocytes activate and sensitized by an antigen and then release lymph lymphokines uh, upon the second contact the lymphocytes induce inflammation and activate macrophages so this is the cell that does the damage which in turn releases various inflammatory mediators and then causes damage so delayed hypersensitivity can be normal but it can also be ab abnormal in this situation so uh, the clinical manifestations of these uh, reactions we mentioned that type 1 is within minutes uh, you start to get those uh, reactions the, the basic one is systemic anaphylaxis which is uh, basically shock so reduced uh, blood pressure increased systemic vascular resistance uh, and so on so um, and other than, uh, these are part of the uh, uh, part of the distributive types of shock where uh, everything gets reduced um, you know the the left ventricular output is the only thing that is increased the vascular resistance is decreased uh, pulmonary pressure is decreased uh, everything will become decreased and that is shock ايش اشياء ثانيه مثلا ازمه واحد معه ازمه شو بصير معه اول ما يتنفس الالرجين تبعه على طول بصير معه airway obstruction right they have airway narrowing and uh, degranulation of histamine and then they have the reaction right away articaria اللي هو بسموها شريه او hives so someone who is who comes into contact on the skin uh, but you can, you can look it up so uh, hives you get them as um, uh, basically uh, so you can 
allergic rhinitis اللي بيصير معه مثلا بيصير معه سيران بالانف مثلا when he comes to contact with something you're allergic to عادة بيصير يعطس معها على طول conjunctivitis uh, hay fever food allergies مثلا واحد حكى الشغل he's allergic to and that might cause him to uh, undergo anaphylaxis so مثلا nuts هلا في طلع ادوية that protect against this uh, eggs مثلا في بعض الناس vaccines uh, they are allergic to eggs you can't give them these kind of vaccines that might have these uh, proteins Uh, drug allergy to penicillin مثلا انتم بتعطوا penicillin راح تعطوا penicillin هذا شو type 1 type 1 hypersensitivity اذا بتعطيه على على طول بصير معه within minutes they will have symptoms so فبتقدر تعطيه اذا بدك if you really have to use it you can put a little bit under the skin and wait a few minutes عادة 30 minutes and you can see if they are if they have atopy towards this penicillin مثلا اذا ما عنده بتقدر تعطيه الدواء so that's one way that usually بتنعمل بالطوارئ هذه Uh, eczema, atopic dermatitis, uh, venoms, latex, gloves, so these are immediate hypersensitivity reactions. Now cytotoxic, the ones with uh, direct, hemolytic anemia, ABO transposition reaction, RH, incompatibility, when the mother takes the antigen from the baby, so, uh, and then might, uh, on the other way, might have hemolytic disease of the newborn. Rheumatic fever, تذكروا. So you have, you make these, those uh, rheumatic, uh, those, مثلا, uh, streptococci that you make antigens, antibodies against, and those antibodies might react to, مثلا, the heart valves. Uh, so that's uh, rheumatic fever. حتى, مثلا, good pasture syndrome uh, can affect kidneys as well. These are, this, these are more immediate. فكل واحدة وقتها أكثر. Had it within minutes, this is within hours or days. Now, immune complex mediated within weeks. This is days, hours, minutes, this is weeks. How? Uh, so, مثلا, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, post trip glomerulonephritis. Now, this is also post trip, but this is not type 2, this is type 3. Because the, the, these nephrogenic strains will deposit these antigen antibody complexes in the kidney. IgA nephropathy, uh, serum sickness, hypersensitivity, pneumonitis. So all these are uh, autoimmune diseases uh, and then uh, have these immune complex mediated disease that cause the destruction of the tissues, methane joints, heart, kidney, and so on. The last one is uh, type 4, the cellular one. So methane, uh, if you mention, if you mention Stephen Johnson syndrome from sulfur drugs, That is delayed hypersensitive reaction. منها الإريثيما مالتيفورم اللي تطلع من مثلا certain types of drugs or viruses. TEN is a more severe form of Stephen Johnson syndrome. Tuberculin skin test ذكروا حكينا لسه ما حكيت لكم عفوا المحاضرة الجاية تحكوا عنه نحكي عنه بالتوبركلوسس. Poison ivy contact dermatitis. These are types of type 4 hypersensitivity reactions. So I think خلاص يعني now at, at this point we have covered everything. Let's see what we didn't cover. So immediate hypersensitivity reaction uh, occurs when an antigen binds Ig on the surface, release of several mediators. تمام. Uh, antigen is induces formation of anti Ige antibody. So you have to form the, the antibody first, and then second second contact will cause this uh, antibody to uh, bind. So re-exposure هيو. It results in cross-linking the cell-bound IgE. So the IgE is now cell-bound to these histamine-carrying cells, which they will degranulate and then release methylene histamine within minutes, which is the immediate phase. Symptoms such as edema, erythema, and itching appear rapidly when these are uh, sent. So here's the mast cell. عليها antigens. So these are bound with the antigen that is now formed from previous contact with this uh, uh, haptin or antigen. So mediators are contained within these granules. The allergen comes, cross-links these two antibodies. Once they are cross-linked, they can cause the mediators to be released from these cells. There is a later phase that can occur after exposure to the antigen and is due to mediators with leukotrienes that are synthesized after the cell degranulates. خلصت السلة اللي عندها تتعمل كمان leukotrienes which are then sent to to uh, really uh, uh, mediate the late phase. 
So they can cause an influx of inflammatory cells, methylene neutrophils, eosinophils, and then the symptoms such as erythema and induration will occur. It is very important to mention that eosinophils are a major player in the late phase reaction, methyl khasatamil asthma, and other reactions that are continuous continuation of type 1 hypersensitivity. كثير مهمة هاي العلاقة. بيجي بالامتحانات كثير مثلا بيحكي لك إنه is it in the late or in the early phase and what is the role that is being played. Complement is not involved. This is important. This is complement is involved uh, with type 2 and type 3. Allergens involved in hypersensitivity reaction are substances, مثلا pollens, animal danders, food, drugs, too much maybe people will exhibit clinical symptoms. Some individuals respond to these substances by producing large amounts of IgE and allergic symptoms. So the most people don't, a few people will have these symptoms. Increased IgE to the increased class switching to IgE in B cells caused, causes a large amount of interleukins, other than 4 obviously to, to be produced by Th2 cells. And non-allergic individuals respond to the same antigen by producing IgG. So you make if you make IgG, you will not uh, produce uh, um, an allergic reaction. If you class switch to IgE, if you class switch to IgE, can you class switch back to IgG? No, because you have cut away the DNA. So you are always committed. You are always committed to, to, to producing IgE against this antigen, which contributes to allergy. allergy, he is always allergic to that substance because this is a DNA level change. This is a DNA level commitment. So IgG does not cause <coughs> the release of mediators from mast cells. Obviously, they do not degranulate mast cells. And people, the majority of people who make IgG will not have allergy against these substances. So genetic predisposition to immediate hypersensitivity reactions can be can be uh, present. Sure, clinical manifestations are like, for urticaria, eczema, rhinitis, conjunctivitis, asthma. <coughs> so they depend on the route of entry of the allergen. Uh, pollens in the air, مثلا بعمل لك hay fever or ingest مثلا food بعمل لك diarrhea, urticaria, مثلا بالسكين, rhinitis and so on. Uh, the most severe type of hypersensitive reaction we're talking about is anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis causes severe bronchoconstriction and shock, hypotension and it can be life threatening. What are the most common causes of anaphylaxis? Uh, foods, peanuts and shellfish. Uh, with drugs, penicillin, and some people with bee venom, So, of particular interest of medical personnel are type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. gloves, latex gloves, sensitivity. more severely asthma and even anaphylaxis. So, uh, these are the clinical aspects of uh, hypersensitivities, methanol lung, which one do you have? You have asthma. What are the symptoms of asthma? You have wheezing, dyspnea, tachypnea, right? Uh, what are the allergens, added and pollens, uh, house dust, added and some of pieces of dust mites. Uh, Google, show from these are really tiny insects that can live in, in uh, methanol bil sajad, بال بالبد بالبدين مثلاً uh, and they keep مثلاً excluding these species these species can that can be the atopy that causes the uh, مثلاً asthma animal dander مثلاً بساس أو هيك أشياء uh, many occupation airborne allergens as well so obviously this is through inhalation nose and eyes اللي هو rhinitis مثلاً بصير conjunctivitis uh, يعني عيون الواحد مثلاً بصير بصير مثلاً دمع بصير مثلا عنده مثلا سيلان انف كثير هذا ذس از كان بي اوسو هي في مثلا عيونه ممكن تنتفخ كمان سو راني نوز ريدنس اند اتشينج اوف ذا ايز ذس از يوزولي باي بولنز اند ذس از كونتاكت دايركت كونتاكت وذ ذيس ميوكس ممبرينز سكين يو هاف اكزيما اتوبيك درماتيتس ذس از بروريتيك فيسيكولار ريجنز ارتيكاريا بروريتيك بولس ريجنز بكونوا عاده تشوفوا الهايفز بتفتحوا عليها بكونوا مرتفعه معبيه مي اكثر um, so, what is a typical allergy for topic dermatitis is still uncertain. We don't know exactly how that happens because some people don't have a skin uh, contact with anything, but they still have eczema. Methylen, I have eczema sometimes, and I, it's, it's not related to anything. And um, lots of you might have as well certain types of eczema. 
uh, Articaria you, it is immediate so certain foods بأكل أكل معين بصير حك رجلده على طول بطلع له هذا الطفح الجلدي or certain drugs Intestinal tracts are allergic gastroenteropathy بصير معه vomiting, diarrhea certain, of, of certain foods systematic هي the anaphylaxis shock, hypertension, wheezing so مثلا عادة حكي لهم هدول الأشياء and this is the root of acquisition so mediators and their effects so uh, the main one is histamine, granules of tissue, mast cells, and basal cells are preformed in a preformed state. within seconds or minutes because it's already there. You do not need to make it, then release it. It is already there and it's waiting to be released. Uh, vasodilation. A large amount of it will cause shock, hypotension. So vasodilation, increased capillary permeability, smooth muscle contraction. Uh, clinically, uh, <clears throat> uh, disorders such as allergic rhinitis, articaria, and angioedema can occur. The bronchospasm is so prominent that it is part from um, histamine release. Antihistamine drugs block histamine receptor sites and can be relatively effective and relatively effective in allergic rhinitis, but not in asthma. Antihistamines in asthma, it does not help. You, you need to. Uh, there is it, it's much more complex uh, pathology rather than just a simple allergic rhinitis. Then there are other slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. مثلا, these are leukotrienes. How now? We see in no, for example, asthma and other things that have more substances, not just simple histamine. عشان هيك antihistamines have very little role in treatment of asthma. So it consists of several leukotrienes. Uh, they're not in a preformed state. Remember, this is in a later phase, and then produ this produces uh, during anaphylactic reaction. So this can account for the slow onset of effects of these slow reacting substances. So they are formed by arachidonic acid, by carboxylase and cyclooxygenase. So this is leukotrienes. So you remember the leukotrienes from the letter L. Lipoxygenase, harf L, bilish harf L. Will cyclooxygenation be amalu thrombocin and the others? So lipoxygenase pathway it causes increased vascular permeability, smooth muscle contraction. Hakina, they are the principal mediators of bronchoconstriction of asthma and are influenced, but are not influenced by antihistamines. This is what we are mentioned. Fi mathalan leukotriene is akhato bil bil pharmacology fi adwiya that block leukotrienes mathalan, and then they can be treatment of of asthma. The mathalan mathalan Methanol steroids, you know, steroids can block lipoxygenase, which also can help in asthma. Now, the third one is eosinophil chemotactic factor of anaphylaxis. This is a tetrapeptide that is also preformed in mast cells, and when released during anaphylaxis, it attracts eosinophils that are prominent in immediate allergic reactions. So, eosinophils can play can reduce the severity of type one. How? In, in their type 1 the reaction, their role is still uncertain. They do not release, they do release alpha histamine, but also aryl sulfatase, which degrade two important mediators of histamine and SRSA, respectively. So they can modulate, they can improve and reduce type 1 hypersensitivity. Others, serotonin, serotonin, brain can also uh, improve uh, uh, contractility in the gut, diarrhea. So it's preformed in mast cells, uh, periphery, brain, and when released during anaphylaxis, it causes capillary dilation, increased vascular permeability, smooth muscle contraction, but it is, has a minor importance in human anaphylaxis. The cyclooxygenase pathway, prostaglandins and thromboxanes, so uh, they can obviously dilation, increase permeability, uh, bronchoconstriction, and thromboxane can aggregate platelets. A platelet activating factor, this is important because uh, um, uh, this is a phospholipid produced by mast cells and can cause bronchoconstriction, hypertension, and vascular permeability. Uh, uh, are active for a few minutes after release and then they are enzymatically uh, inactivated but it will be too late by that time when they have caused uh, damage. Tamam. Okay, so uh, in an allergic airway disease, methyl and asthma, uh, so allergy means methyl seems to be uh, mediated by interleukin 13 which is released by Th2 cells. Uh, 
So uh, this binds to receptors which share a chain with interleukin-4, and then that increases the, the, the yani, but it tips the balance more towards Th2 uh, response. And uh, so interleukin-13 does not increase the amount of IgE. So uh, there is a drug called Libricuzumab, which is a monoclonal antibody. MAB is a monoclonal antibody, uh, which can uh, reduce this is against interleukin-13, which reduces symptoms in some patients with severe asthma. Uh, you can also know Zafir Lucas as well. Uh, in contrast to anaphylactic reactions, which are IgE-mediated, uh, there is anaphylactoid reactions, which appear clinically similar, but are not IgE-mediated. In these reactions, an agent is usually a drug or an iodinated contrast media, they directly induce mast cells to uh, release the mediators without activating, without cross-linking IgE. So they give you the same symptoms, but directly without uh, involvement of IgE. Manato, how do you have to be uh, in a, in a, to be given this uh, antigen قبل, and then you produce IgE, and then the second time you pr produce it? No, you will have it from the first time of meeting it because it can directly induce mast cells during granulation. So atopy, we keep mentioning the word atopy. So atopic disorders, methane hay fever, asthma, eczema, urticaria. There are these are all immediate hypersensitivity reactions and exhibit. Uh, there's a strong familiar uh, predisposition, as we mentioned, is because of the other than the, the role of producing IgE rather than IgG, and that can be genetic in nature. Um, there are many uh, processes that seem to play a role, tamam. So this is all in, 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 in T-cell uh, regulation. So which can enhance uptake and presentation of these antigens, a uh, hyperreactivity of the target tissue, tamam. And these are all uh, يعني, thought as a, as a uh, major role in the pathogenesis of these disorders. So uh, about 40% of people can have uh, some sort of atopic disorder at, their at some time in their lives. مش ضروري أزمة أزمة أو أنواع تانية مثلاً allergic rhinitis مثلاً so the incidence of these diseases is increasing markedly هل ده إحنا عادي منشوف إنه ناس كتير صار عندها allergy أكتر و and this this can be explained إنه الناس إنه we have we are meeting uh, less antigens because of استخدام كتير مثلاً antiseptics and 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 clean and 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 things that can uh, clean uh, يعني overly clean so you can be overly clean فبتلاقي مثلا الاطفال اللي امهم دائما بتلحق وراهم بتنظف ايديهم دائما معقمات على الايدين وعلى رجليه وعلى وجهه وعلى كل شيء so usually these kids are more prone to have asthma مثلا يعني كان دائما بيحكي لي هي قصه انه واحد يعني طبيب او يعني صديق له طبيب انه بيحكي بشو انا بشوف الـ الـ الاطفال مثلا بال بالباديه مثلا بكونوا او بيشتغلوا بال 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 بالحقل بكونوا مثلا مزارعين وهذا بتلاقي مثلا الولد كله معفر كله طينه وكله هذا وقاعد بياكل شغله والشيء الوحيد النظيف اللي هو شغله بياكلها او او مثلا هذا بيكوز they ار مور ان كونتاكت وذ ذا انتيجنز هذول الاطفال عاده يعني انت ان يور براكتس يو ويل سي ذات you know, usually we don't, they don't have, uh, they, don't, they do not present with allergies. So this is one hypothesis that might explain, you know, the parasite burden is low in these countries. Or the countries the parasite burden in them are higher, for example, for example, in some countries, or in Asia or Africa, they have less this. IgE evolved as a host defense against these parasites. In regions where the parasite burden is high, IgE is used for host defense against these organisms, and then they will have less allergy. Tamam. Uh, atopic hypersensitivity uh, is transferable by serum and not by uh, lymphoid cells. Uh, so this was used for diagnosis in the passive cutaneous method anaphylactic reactions, taking serum from a patient and then injecting it in the skin of a normal patient. That, that normal patient hours later will have wheel and flare reactions. So this test carries a danger of transmitting certain viral infections. So uh, uh, there is a, a radio uh, allergosorbent test, RAST, which permits the identification of these IgE uh, by 
in vitro rather than in vivo. Okay, so uh, there is evidence that uh, the initiation of the atopic response occurs when uh, proteases in the allergens, such as metafungal allergen, pollens, dust mites, they cleave fibrinogen. And when they do this, they can obviously improve their ability uh, to uh, cause uh, atopy. So uh, the resulting cleavage KF, they can activate toll like receptor 4 on the surface of uh, macrophages and airways which activate the atopic response. So this cleavage is helpful in and how is by activating toll-like receptor 4. So toll-like receptor 4 and has a genetic component obviously. So several genes associated with atopy have been identified. Mutations of these genes uh, will encoding in the alpha chain of interleukin 4 receptor strongly predisposed to atopy. So uh, Adorno methyl mutations enhance the effectiveness of interleukin-4, resulting in a more amount of IgE synthesized by B cells. Genatania that are also uh, implicated, uh, those genes for interleukin-4 itself, and the gene for the, uh, methyl, the epsilon heavy chain, uh, and then several class 2 uh, MHC genes. Uh, okay, Tr uh, drug hypersensitivity drugs, uh, particularly methylene, uh, penicillins, are among the most common ca causes of hypersensitivity reactions. Um, okay, so uh, it's not uh, the... We know this from the Hapton lecture. This is not the intact drug that induces uh, antibody formation, but the metabolic uh, product of the drug can and binds to body protein and we know all of this. Um, tamam. Again, on skin test. Uh, desensitization. Okay, so since in methyl anaphylaxis, uh, the formula in methyl anaphylactic antigen, antibody, and you have a large amount of mediators being released, uh, desensitization uh, can prevent systemic uh, anaphylaxis. How? Acute desensitization, methyl anaphylactic, you know, involvement of what? Giving a very tiny amount dose of the antigen. At 15 minute intervals. dose in a large amount. We, we mentioned how the more of the antigen you are given, the more reaction, the more release of uh, histamine is, is, uh, occurs. So if you give an, a tiny amount, uh, you degranulate a little bit, which can be tolerated. So i a small, tiny amount, more and more and more. So this antigen IgE complexes uh, form on a small scale, but do not enough mediators is released, like we just mentioned. And then this permits the administration of the drug or foreign protein to a hypersensitive patient, but the hypersensitive state returns because IgE continues to be made. So in the desensitization in an immediate way. For the drug that you have to give, you have no other option. So you can give this drug by acute desensitization, until you degranulate all the uh, mediators over a very, very long time and then he, while they, they are making more histamine you can give the, the remainder of the drug and then the next time you have to give it it will cause anaphylaxis but then you can do the same method again this is an acute desensitization chronic desensitization this involves long term weekly administration of the antigen which the person is hypersensitive to and this, this will stimulate the production of IgA and IgG blocking antibodies, which can prevent subsequent antigen from reaching IgE on the mast cells and thus preventing the reaction. So this can be, the chronic desensitization can be more permanent. Acute is not permanent. So uh, that is important to note because in, in, in the chronic one, you are forming uh, IgA and maybe IgG, which can block uh, Ig on the mast cells, which can prevent cellular degranulation. Uh, chronic desensitization can also uh, induce regulatory T cells to produce interleukin 10, which reduces the synthesis of IgE. So, how that you will turn off your IgE for in that patient. So, this can work. Now, treatment and prevention drugs to counteract the action of the mediators. Methanol, doctor for abdagat, with doctor tati bronchodilators, with doctor tati fluids, with doctor any to support airway. Uh, breathing and circulation. Should استخدم epinephrine, antihistamines, steroids, uh, chromolin, sodium. عادة من أعطاب الأزمة مثلاً. Uh, oh, يعني in, in, in certain uh, 
combinations can be given to prevent the release of these mediators and then to uh, uh, maintain the uh, function of the body blood pressure and airways and then the most important thing is to prevent uh, uh, you have to identify the allergen and then prevent uh, this allergen from being allergy so he can stop and then he has to avoid that allergen altogether so there are different approaches for treatment of asthma but allergen that is the most important thing what do we give inhaled beta adrenergic uh, beta 2 adrenergic bronchodilators مثلا البيتر غول سابيتم اول يعني كل واحده بتكون من ادويه هاي بتعرفوا سم ار يعني شورت اكتنج سم ار لونج اكتنج ستيرويدز لايك وي منشن ار افكتيف امينوفيلين از ا برونكو دايليتر كان بي اولسو افكتيف حكينا ذيز مثلا مونوكلونال انتي اي جي اي انتي باديز مثلا ذات وي منشن ار انديكيتد ان ذيز بيشنتس وذ سيفير ازما فور ذا بريفنشن هو هذا اللي كنت شايين بنسبه الانهبيتر حكينا مثلا مونتي لوكاس زاكر لوكاس uh, it's more singular, my sodium, but these are usually uh, effective treatment as well. Treatment of allergic rhinitis usually bas hada hada mahakina bas only an antihistamine, methan maybe maybe plus minus an allergic ingestion, and that is all that you need. Conjunctivitis, eye drops of antihistamine, methan bin atu, that's all you need, and then obviously avoiding the inciting uh, allergen. And I think that's it. We'll take a moment